in the yogic culture, we classify foods into three categories – positive pranic food, negative pranic food and zero pranic food. Positive prana means it adds a certain pranic energy to the system when you consume. Negative prana takes away energy from the system. Zero neither adds nor takes away, it's eaten for taste and lethargy. So, if you eat positive pranic food, energy will reverberate in a dynamic way. Particularly, some of the things were very, very positive are the ash god. The ash god is very, very highly positive. You… I think these days you're only hanging it in front of your house or breaking at three corners of the road and giving it to the buffalo, but you are not eating it. No, this is to be eaten. Because the vegetable has such high pranic energy, you put it in front of your home so that there is nice energy. But if there is so much energy to it, isn't it good to put it into you? It's good to put it into you, especially if you consume... There are many experiments on this, if you consume a glass of Ashford juice every day, the number of cancerous cells in your body will dramatically come down. And you will see, clearly the sharpness of your intellect will enhance itself. Especially children must drink ash god juice. Daily consumption of ash god, you will see distinctly your mind seems to be clearer and sharper. This will be noticeable within a few weeks of consumption of ash god. You will see, morning you drink coffee, it gives you energy with agitation. You drink a glass of ash god juice, it gives you enormous amount of energy. At the same time, it keeps you very, very calm. One should consume it as much as you can. But those of you who are asthmatic, who are susceptible to colds and coughs, such people, if you consume ash god juice, you may immediately have colds because it cools the system. So if such a problem is there, such people should always add a little bit of honey or pepper to ash god juice and consume it. This will neutralize the cooling effect of the ash god to some extent. When we were eating for survival, we ate whatever we could lay our hands on. Now that we have choices, we have to choose what's best for the body. If we don't choose like this, then we will somehow live and go. All these things are relevant only for those people who are constantly striving how to better their life, how to perform little better, how to open up another dimension of life. If these concerns are there, then what kind of food or fuel you put into this machine is very, very important.